properties of angles of circles. So circles do have angles. We're going to start with our central angles and how they are connected to the arc measure. So a central angle, we already defined this, but let's just make sure we're all on the same page. A central angle is an angle with its vertex where? At the center of the circle. And its two sides are what? You can't see it. Okay, and its two sides are radii. The sum of all central angles in a circle is 360 degrees. All of the entire circle contains 360 degrees. So an example of a central angle in this circle would be ABC. That is a central angle because its center is on the center. Excuse me, its vertex is on the center. AB, CB are radii. The degree of the arc formed by the endpoints of a central angle is equal to the degree of the central angle. So that means arc AC here, minor arc AC, has a degree measure of 84 degrees because that is the arc that corresponds to the central angle. Okay, the central angle creates that arc. I like to do this to my pictures when I'm, when I'm working out these. Um, I trace the sides of the central angle and I extend them out past the side of the circle. So I see that that clearly cuts off that arc. So I just say that angle equal to that arc. <laughs> okay. So then if we've got 360 degrees total, the measure of arc ADC, AD, I also do this, I will trace my picture with my pencil. So I start at A, I go to D, I end up at C. Well, isn't that the rest of my circle? So 360 minus 84, which is 276. Two hundred and seventy-six degrees. Okay, we good. All right. So let's look at some examples. Let's look at number one here. Um, they mark the central angle JNK with twenty-one degrees. So what do they want first? They want the measure of arc JK. Well, again. If, you, if you're not seeing it right off the bat, extend your central angle and you see that it intercepts that arc, so it is 21 degrees. My, the measure of arc JK is 21 degrees. Okay, let's see here. Uh, the measure of angle JNM, so start at J, ends in the middle, M is right here, so that angle... It didn't necessarily tell us this, but the only way we can figure this out is if indeed KM is a diameter. So if it looks like a diameter with these pictures, assume it is a diameter. So KM is a diameter. It is halfway through the circle. So JNM would be 180 minus 21. So what, 159? The measure of arc KL, the measure of arc KL, it is a minor arc, so I go directly from K to L, shortest distance. Okay, so I want to mark off what creates that, so that's that central angle. Well, we have two intersecting lines. We have two intersecting lines here. L, I've covered up my letters. Um, We've got KM and JL, right? KM and JL. Um, so where those lines intersect, what do we call the angles that are across from each other? Vertical. And what's true about vertical angles? They're the same measure. So we just found J and M 
Well, wouldn't that be the same as K and L? Wouldn't those be the same um, angles? So that arc, KL, would also be 159 degrees. Okay, uh, the measure of arc JKM. So let me let me throw on my picture here what I have so far. Let me put my measures on the circle. So I've got 159 here. So if I've got vertical angles, then that's 21. So then that's 21, and that's 159, and that's 159, and so that's 159. So from J to K to M, we've got 21, 159, and 21, right? So 42 plus 159 would be what, 203? Is that right? No, 201. I'm not trusting my math skills today. But I'm thinking, yes, two of them. All right. Uh, M to K to L. M to K to L. That's the entire circle except for what's between M and L, except for the 21. So 360 minus 21 is uh, 339. I know that I didn't really write down any work there, but you might want to jot down some work as to how we found some of those pieces. So when you look back, you'll know how we got it. All right, let's look at a few more. Um, number two, number two, the measure of angle UXV. UXV. Okay, well. We're going to have to use some stuff here because it's not very obvious right off the bat. So they've got arc SW marked with 72. So that means that central angle is also 72. And that angle of 72 is a vertical angle with the angle that we're looking for. So it is 72 degrees is the answer for UXB. All right. Arc S. T, arc S T. We need this little piece. It goes with this angle right here. So if we look at the picture, it looks like S V is a diameter. So that gives us half. So 180 minus 87 minus 72. So that gives us 21. Twenty-one for the angle, twenty-one for the arc. How about arc W V? Arc W V. Well, we can do one eighty minus seventy-two because S V is a diameter. So one eighty minus seventy-two. One hundred eight for W V. That also means that angle right there, that central angle is 108. T to W, T to the arc, T, W. So we've got 21 and 72, so 93. And then T to V to W, T to V to W. So we've got 87, 72, and 108. Or vice versa, you could take the whole thing and just subtract the parts that aren't included. You, subtra you could subtract the 72 and the 21. Either way, um, it works. So 87 plus 72 plus 108. 267 for the art from T to V to W. Okay. Um, I'm going to skip three and four because I think we've got that part of it. Let's look at when they throw some variables in there. Okay, when they throw some variables in there. So find each value or measure. On number five, they're just asking us to find X. So X is the arc from R to S. Well, 
RS is not a diameter, but RT is a diameter. So that cuts it in half. So from R to S plus from S to T, that's going to give us half the circle, which is 180 degrees. So the minus 26 and the plus 26 cancel. So then divide by 15, 180 divided by 15, 12. So x equals 12. Okay, let's look at number six. We have 18x minus 2 is from D to E, D to H is 15, and F to G is 103. We got to find x. So uh, let's look at diameters here. HF is a diameter. But the problem with using HF is we don't know EF, right? We don't know the measure of our EF. So we can't go there yet. What else is a diameter? EG. EG is also a diameter. That might help us out because we know one of the measures. We know 103, so that leaves us with 77 from E to F. Now we can go back to the first thing that we looked at, 18x minus 2 plus 15 plus 77. That all three of those make up half of our circle. So negative 2 plus 15 is 13. 13 plus 77 is 90. So 18x plus 90 equals 180. So when we subtract the 90, 18x equals 90, divide by 18. What's that? 5, 6? No, 5. X is 5. Okay, let's look at number 7. Number seven, we have two arcs marked there. We've got from A to D and we've got from B to C. Uh, AC is a diameter, BD is a diameter, but we don't know the other pieces to the diameters. What does it look like is going on here? Anybody have any idea what we should do to set them up? Set them equal to each other, why? They're vertical angles. We have two intersecting lines. So AED and BEC are vertical angles. So those angles are congruent. So that means their corresponding arcs are congruent. So 8x plus 12 is equal to 10x minus 22. So when we subtract the 8x, we get 12 is equal to 2x minus 22. Add the 22, we get 34 equal to 2x divided by 2, 17 is our value of x, but that's not the only thing to ask us for on this one. The measure of AD, well, we just need to plug it back in, right? 8 times 17 plus 12, 8 times 17 plus 12, 148 for arc AD, CD, how would we find CD? Uh, 180 minus 148. <laughs> 32 degrees. B, D, C. Okay, trace it out. If you're not sure what to do, go from B to D to C. Personally, the way that I would look at this is I've got all of my circle except for from B to C. I have the whole circle except from B to C. Well, from A to D was 148, so that means from B to C, that's 148. So I have everything but 148. So I'm going to do 360 minus 148. Now, that's not the only way you can figure that out. You could have also said, well, CD is 32, so AB is 32, and you could have done 32 plus 148 plus 32. Right? Either way, 
You should get 212, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. You could also do number six. Um, those two lines that I have drawn. Yes. So you could look at the 18x minus 2 plus the 15 being vertical with the 103. Yes. There, there is another way to do that one. Absolutely. And that will happen in several cases. It's all about perspective. How I see it versus how you see it versus how your partner sees it. it as long as you get the right answer, yes. It's fine. Okay. All right. Um, let me see here. I'm going to leave. Well, let's see here. Tell me. Let, let's just talk through the setup of number eight. I'm not going to do it completely, but let's talk through the setup of number eight. Look at that one. What do we think? How would we set that one up? The two arcs that they have marked. Do they make up the whole circle, half the circle, part the circle, they're vertical? What's going on? They make up half the circle. From J to K and K to L, they make up half the circle. So those two put together equals 180 degrees. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to set it up. You can work it out here in a minute. Um, but those two together make up 180 degrees. You do have some vertical angles going on. You're probably going to need that to answer the other three questions. Um, but that is how you would start that. Let's look at number nine. Let's look at number nine. We've got from V to W. We have from W to X. We have from X to Y. How about from Y to V? They didn't give us an expression. But what's that angle marked with? 90. It's a right angle, so that means that's 90 degrees. So all four of those together add to 360. Let's look at the arc length problems really quickly, and then I'll let you go back to those other ones. Okay, the length of an arc is the port is a portion of the circumference. The length of an arc is a portion of the circumference. So we've already written this down, but let's write it down again. Arc length, remember we said was s is equal to x. That's the degree measure of the arc over 360 because that's the total degrees in a circle times C, which is the circumference. So let's look at a problem here. It says if EB, what's EB in number 10? EB is, I know it's 15, but what do we call it? It's a radius. Okay, EB is a radius, so I'm going to put a little R underneath it. Uh, find the length of arc CD. So I'm looking for arc CD. Now let's start by finding what its measure is in, in degrees. How would we find its measure in degrees? What would we call BD? BD is a diameter. So 180 minus 68. So 120 to 112. That is the degree measure of arc CD. That's the degree measure of arc CD. So then if we want to find the arc length, the linear measure in centimeters, we take the degrees over 360 and multiply by the circumference. We're given the radius, so I'm going to use 2 pi r. And then I'm just going to type that in my calculator. The good thing is you don't need any extra parentheses. If you want to put some in there, you can. You don't have to. But because all you're doing is multiplying and dividing, you can do it all at once here. Okay. So the arc length in centimeters 
is 29.322 centimeters. Approximately. You could have left it in terms of pi. You could have done everything with multiplied pi. Yeah. Then a fraction. 28 pi over 3. If you leave the pi out. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's do another one. Let's do number 13. Okay, let's do number 13. If JH equals 21 inches, find the length of arc KJG. Okay, so again, I like to outline it K to J to G. So the entire circle except for that little bitty slice. The entire circle except for that little bitty slice. So let's figure out. We've got just a couple of our measurements marked. We've got an 85. We've got a 59. So usually diameters are what help us out. HJ is a diameter. So that gives us half the circle. We got 180 minus 85, so it leaves us with 95. And then that's a vertical angle over here, so that's 95. So the degree measure of arc KJG, add them all up, or subtract them from 360, either way. Or subtract a little piece. So 95 plus 85 plus 95 plus 59 is 334. KJG in degrees is 334 degrees. So degrees over 360, because it's out of the entire circle, times the circumference. Well, what did they give us this time? Did they give us radius or did they give us diameter? Diameter. So I'm just going to do pi times the diameter. So 334 over 360 times pi times the diameter. The arc length is approximately 61.209 inches. Okay. Any questions? 